Darkest Dice was published in 2017 by Grey Fox Games. It was designed by Danny Devine and illustrated by Devine along with Tyler Myatt. In it, two to four players take turns rolling and drafting vegetable dice in order to fill their gardens. You can only plant carrots, lettuce, or tomatoes adjacent to one another, and only in the column matching the number drafted. If you draft a veg you cannot legally place, feed it to your pig. Scratch off pig spaces equal to the pips. By failing in rows, not only gain access to end game points, but also dice mitigation. In the basic game, you may increase or decrease die by one pip. The leftover die each round is marked off in the matching market by all players. During end game scoring, the market becomes a scoring multiplier times that number of that vegetable in your garden. At the end, add your three vegetable scores, pig points, and bonus points for filling in a row. In the advanced game, you get another bonus if you have the highest total per veggie or most pig spaces. To break it down, roll, draft, and draw veggies in your ever-changing garden, feed your pigs to gain its help, and pay attention to the market. That's Harvest Dice. Our games of Harvest Dice, including Setup and Takedown, have been around 25 minutes. You could even play multiple times on a weeknight. As long as you have a safe area to roll the dice, players only need a personal area the size of a placemat. You can draft depending on your needs and your opponents, but there isn't much interaction otherwise until final scoring. For the most part, player count doesn't affect gameplay or time. A 5 year old could understand the basic rules, but players need to understand spatial relationships and the market multipliers to be good at this game. With that said, I think even kids age 5 or 6 will have fun rolling and drying their veggies. Maybe let them start with a pig row filled in, or different ages could use different score sheets. In our third game of Harvest Dice, we all kept rolling lettuce with numbers all over the place, while carrots and tomatoes were in a specific order. Dad got stuck early, but unlocked enough pig rows to get himself back in the game. He finished second, but I beat him and Mum. Harvest Dice comes with a ton of sheets, so unless you play all the time, you probably will not run out. Many Roll and Write fans laminate their favorite sheets, so that's an option. Grey Fox Games does not have the option on their website to download more, which is disappointing. The art style and theme come together nicely, and I love how this simple game comes in a small enough box to toss in your purse or backpack to bring to school, a friend's place, or wherever. Turns are very fast, and there isn't a lot of downtime, yet there can still be analysis paralysis. AP is when you freeze when making decisions. This could trip up some younger gamers who otherwise are attracted to the theme or can handle the rules. There aren't many big decisions. Your dice options shrink as you go around the table, and everyone's market is affected by the final die. Your personal choices, though, are what make this game interesting. The spatial puzzle of what veggies to plant and where changes as you play. Then you have to think things like, hmm, do I take this carrot or should I leave it to the market multiplier goes up? The game is replayable thanks to the dice and other players, but it also means that it isn't especially strategic. Market manipulation is low compared to an actual economic game, but that pig mitigation adds another option to the list. Do you take the high value dice just to get those mitigators and end game points? Also, when do you use those mitigators? You can use multiple on a single die, which is nice when you're really stuck. I much prefer the advanced game thanks to the scoring system. First, you no longer have a space automatically marked, meaning your veggies are worthless to start. It makes choosing the dice more important and forces you to be aware of what others have planted. Score 5 additional bonus points if you have the most of a single veggie type, and another 5 if you crossed off the most pig circles. Those 20 points have a huge effect on the game's actual winner. Oh, and speaking of the pig, the additional game has another mitigation power. You may change the color of a die while keeping the same pip. For example, a 3 tomato becomes a 3 carrot. Like before, you can combine abilities using multiple pig points. A 3 tomato becomes a 2 carrot. Pretty cool. If you are colorblind, watch out. While you'd expect the red and green to cause issues, our phone app shows the orange and green to be problematic as well. Harvest Dice is a super cute dice drafting and set collection game with accessible rules, quick gameplay, and light market manipulation. I think this and Ripple Rush are excellent introductions to the roll slash flip and write genre thanks to accessible rules and short lengths. People looking for something deeper might be better off with Welcome 2 or even heavier games like Fleet the Dice Game and Hadrian's Wall. 
Looking for a farming game with less dice and randomness and more strategy? Fields of Green, which is my first ever review, and Agricola may scratch that itch. Both even have drafting elements as well. I recommend this to families with younger children just getting into gaming and experienced gamers looking for something light to enjoy with friends and or family and people who want a quick roll and write in their collection to replace another that's getting a bit stale. As long as you don't go into this expecting it to be anything aside from what it claims to be, I think you'll have a good time. We sure did.